Rigging a set of two layers from Illustrator or Photoshop should be a simple task, and now it is. Line up two layers at the center of the comp and click the button to create a stretch rig with the same level of control as rubber hose. If you've ever been frustrated with the default rubber hose not supporting custom artwork, rubber rig might be your answer. Let's jump in. If you decide to pick up rubber hose after watching this video and you want to help the channel out, I have an affiliate code in the description. I'd really appreciate it. So here is our artwork for our leg inside of Illustrator. As you can see in the top right, we've got three layers, one for the upper leg, one for the lower leg, and one for the foot. You must separate the upper leg and lower leg, otherwise this won't work. You've probably noticed this uh, line here going in the middle of the leg. Don't worry about that, we're going to remove it later. Make sure that there is some overlap between your upper leg and lower leg, otherwise the bend will seem unnatural. So you can see here, got some overlap there. You also need to make sure that your illustrator layers are at the top level, so they're not nested in anything else. When After Effects imports this illustrator file, it will put each top level layer into an After Effects layer. So let's import our artwork. Press Control I. Here's my artwork. I'm going to change to Composition Retain Layer Sizes. Import. And here is our leg. So as you can see down in the bottom left here, we have three illustrator layers. Select choose grid and guide options and enable title slash action safe. Now you can see there's a crosshairs in the middle of our composition now. You wanna grab all of your layers and move them until the crosshairs is where you want the bend to happen, where the knee is effectively in this case. So I think around there will be good. Select the upper part of your limb first and then control click the lower part of your limb. The order in which you select those matters. Then open Rubber Hose by going to Window, Rubber Hose 2. Open the Build panel and select Hip Ankle if you're working with a leg or Shoulder Wrist if you're working with an arm. Then click New Rubber Rig and three controllers will be spawned. Now we can move our leg around. It's got a pretty nice bend there. Happy with that. So if these controllers seem like they were placed badly for you, you can go, for instance, to your leg lower, press E and tweak the segment length. So I'm going to move it to around there because that's where the controller is. And I'm also going to tweak the rotation of the leg lower to match up a bit more nicely. I think around there. Let's do the same for the leg upper. I'm gonna press E, tweak the segment length a little bit, tweak the rotation, something like that. Now let's readjust uh, the ankle controller. Let's parent the ankle controller to our foot layer. Now when we move our foot around, the whole leg moves. There's a little, little gap here. So I'm just going to move the ankle controller a little bit down to conceal that. Now let's get rid of this pesky line. So deselect anything you currently had selected. Select the pen tool. You should see a little star by the side of the pen icon. And we're going to disable the leg upper layer so we can see what we're working with here. And we just wanna draw a mask over the top inside our stroke. If you don't have a stroke on your layers, then you don't have to do this, but this is a way of getting rid of that pesky line that we talked about. Okay, let's try this. So we've got our shape layer here, rename it to leg mask and parent it to the leg lower. And then let's re-enable our upper leg. I think it needs a little bit of tweaking. So I'm just going to tweak the shape here. That looks better. Now if we move our foot around, you can see the leg is looking pretty nice. Now you can see the knee kind of juts out a little bit there. You can fix that kind of issue just by moving the lower part of your leg around. I'm gonna move it to around there. And you can fiddle around with that to try and get it how you like it. Next, we're gonna add these legs to our character. Okay, so I'm going to copy all of our leg layers. I'm going to come out to where my character is and I'm going to paste them in. Select the ankle, the hip, and the foot 
in order to move the leg around. And I'm going to position it on my character. And then let's just have a look. Looks pretty good. Then I'm going to select one of my controllers, come over to the manage panel of rubber hose and select duplicate selected hose group and drag these new layers on top. And that's going to duplicate all of the controllers and the artwork. It hasn't duplicated the foot. So I'm going to do that manually by selecting my foot, control D, drag it up with the rest of the layers. Let's color code the right and the left leg differently. So I'm gonna select all these layers, change the color to orange and then select all of these layers and change the color to something else, uh, fuchsia. Let's parent the ankle for our new leg to the other foot. Now you can see our other leg here. Um, the mask isn't there covering the line, so we also need to duplicate the leg mask that we created and reparent this leg mask layer to the other lower leg. There we go. This leg needs to go behind the character. And let's adjust the hip position of the other leg to be maybe there. Let's parent the hip layers to the rest of my character. So I'm going to control select both of the hip layers, open the parent panel and click character. This might be different depending on how your character is prepared. I just have the rest of my character as a pre-comp here. Now when I move the character, you can see that the legs move like so. And I'm gonna add some position keyframes to just kind of illustrate how it's working, where he's gonna do some squats to there and then come back up again. And then let's add some easing to those keyframes. I'm just gonna press F9 on the keyframes, go into the graph editor, um, highlight these and add some easing here. So he does this and then back up. And then I'm going to loop those by holding alt and clicking on the stopwatch, typing in loop out. And now if we play, and there you go. That is how you create a rubber rig using your custom artwork for use in rubber hose. Check out my Patreon to get access to exclusive project files and asset packs discount codes or some great plugins, and at the same time support the channel. You can also join the Discord server where you can chat about animation, get feedback on your work from other community members, promote yourself and more. And as always guys, see you on the flippity flop.